in the oil center this morning. Good morning, Katie. Good morning to you. Good morning, Katie. From TV3 to you. Good morning, Acadiana. Thanks for tuning us in. Tom, Candace, and Dave here on your Monday. I was bummed all yesterday afternoon hearing Johnny Carson. Oh, yeah. Oh, it sure. It just, yeah. I, you know, it just, no, I, I watched the games, but I couldn't help thinking oh, yeah. of Johnny Carson. He was just like, Alleged. affected yeah. every one of us on the planet, as far as I'm concerned, in some way, shape, or form, uh, and some that weren't born. Well, he had as such a as result. I asked my he oldest, such as an I was talking about Johnny Carson. He says, who's Johnny Carson? Oh, you got to be kidding. Boy. And I yeah. said, well, oh, he's yeah, well, the guy true. who was before yeah. Jay Leno. Yeah. And then it sparked yeah. the memory. Yeah. And he's, oh, sure. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 He's been off yeah. the air for a while, but right. 30 years as a king of late night. And just legendary, unbelievable. They had so many uh, shows uh, on the new shows, Fox and CNN, right. all of them, really yeah, yeah. just talking all about him. And uh, so they, they will continue to do that. But uh, also, uh, let me just mention this to you. Kevin Falk is going back yes, to, the Super again. Bowl. to the wow. Super Bowl. And they're going to Jacksonville. Ooh, that's going down South fun. Jacksonville, Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt, prediction, sir. Mr. Future Hall of Fame or Shame sportscaster. <laughs> yeah, Go ahead. Patriots got to win this. Yeah. Thing. I mean, they are so strong. <laughs> yeah, huh? they are. Possibly the best team ever in the NFL. There you oh go. my wow. goodness. Possibly he said if you wow. didn't hear possibly the best team ever That's in the NFL. strong. That's strong. Very strong. All right, let's uh, get a fork well, it was sort of chilly. Uh, like yeah, in the 40s yesterday. Today, only 27 mm. degrees. We promise you. But after watching what was going on in uh, the other yeah, parts of the country, right. including mm -hmm. New England, uh, oh yeah, any day, any day, I'll tell you. And it's amazing when I'm seeing that these places get a foot of snow. And oh, but they're not going to close the schools. The kids will be back in school in some of those areas of the Northeast, including New York City, where they had all that snow. Temperatures here, though, are starting in the 20s. We promised you a freeze. We're delivering 27 right now here uh, at Channel 3. Actually, we're now down to 26 degrees as I look over at the Neighborhood Weather Network Thursday and Friday. 502, that's a look at your forecast. All right, thank you very much, Dave. Investigators are waiting for the autopsy results on a newborn whose body was found in the trunk of a car. Chief Dead. Pretty cool. Man, that's fast, yeah. Did you see the picture in the paper? Oh, they had the bike and the jet, and I think they said in the article over the weekend, that the bike edged out the jet in a race. That's awesome. I mean, that is that's just, crazy. I mean, that is moving, yeah. baby. And I'm going to move over in a few minutes to that kitchen where our good friends from Jean Pines in the Oil Center cooking Excellent. up some enchiladas with crawfish in it. Oh, Plus wow. more. We'll be right back. Here's a look at what's coming up tonight on KTC TV3, Acadiana's news channel. Monday at 5, developers of the proposed I-49 corridor will share their vision with landowners along the route today. Hear about their concerns. Then at 6, Acadiana sugarcane growers are worried they aren't getting their fair share of state funding. We'll show you why. Plus, Rob will have a forecast for where you live. That's tonight on KTC TV3, Acadiana's news channel, home of the local news experts. Back in the mid-70s, looks like our next chance of rain coming up for the end of the week. We'll have more details in a few minutes. Back with you in 10. Now let's go to the sports department. Here's Brian Davies. A lot of sports to talk about, Brian. Good morning, Acadiana. Well, yesterday it was the big games. The AFC... Sid Abair, who was named in the suit, denies that the DNA is being preserved. We will certainly follow up Tom on that story for We you. have warmer temperatures, Dave tells me, Candace, yeah, and that's coming good. into our forecast. Is it going to be summer-like? Is it going to be spring-like? What do you think? Oh, Inquiring minds like want to know. feels like winter. 27. You see yeah, that right there? Wrapping pipes. That's what we did this past <laughs> weekend. And Shelly had to bring in her little dog. I know. She yeah. did. She had dog hair all over because yeah. the dog didn't want it. Well, that's good, Shelly. You take care of that your pets. Good. That's what you're supposed to do. We're, uh, did you see the uh, enchiladas? I can uh, smell the, the crawfish enchiladas. Mm. Champagne. I center. saw the cake too. Mm. That's from Anjos. They brought oh, an Anjos wow. cake. That's nice. And of then, you. in addition, Champagne just put together a little stuffed catfish. If you know what I'm talking about. Lanya. We'll be right back. Stay with us. <laughs> Entertainment news on the way.